This is a new Commandante C60 Barracuda hand grinder. After the C40 Nitro Blade and X25 Trainmaster, it's the third major addition to the Commandante product line. It's a heavy duty tool with full metal body and bigger redesigned burrs. We had a chance to use it for a couple of weeks and in this video we'll share all we learned, primarily what it is like using it and how it differs from a popular C40 model. Disclaimer, Commandante is an advertising partner of European Coffee Trip. We received the C60 model as a free test unit, but we kept the freedom to share our honest opinion in this video. Before we started using the grinder, we filmed the unboxing for you to experience it. So, the key part we took out of the box are body of the grinder which is actually milled and crafted from one block of steel. All the parts inside, including burrs, burrs housing, are from steel too, and clicker is from brass. Then there are two polymer jars. This time, no glass versions are available simply because the grinder's weight could damage them. Then there is a black crank that is bigger with a bigger knob for easier torque during grinding. So when we put all the parts together, it feels very heavy and robust. I almost worry about not breaking the table if I make a wrong move. The actual weight is almost 1 kilo, 994 grams to be precise, and the price at the moment of the filming is 598 euros. It's indeed the most premium grinder from the Commandante range right now. If I think about the positioning of each model, Commandante C40 being the golden standard, then, X25 Trailmaster wanted to bring the same burst and quality into the lighter, thinner and more robust body. A challenge for C60 was, on the other hand, to re-engineer bigger burst set, an engine that can still fit in the same body size of the C40 Granda. Now, let's look at the Commandante C60 Barracuda in detail. This main steel body has a soft brushed finish with diagonal ribs that creates C60's unique look and also improves the grip during grinding. Another good tip for extra grip is putting a Commandante wristband around the grinder body. Commandante logo on the body looks like printed in the recognizable graffiti style, but knowing guys in Germany is definitely some unique chemical process to get this logo on the steel. The crank works with the same magnetic attachment. The polymer lid and the shape of the crank remain the same, it just got longer and the knob got bigger. All to make grinding with bigger bursts easier and smoother. Grind size adjustment remain the same with the click system. Clicker is now in a round shape made out of brass and clicking has different sound and feel. What has changed is the axle, it's called gold clicks and somehow between standard and red clicks X. The adjustment per click is 21 microns, so to replicate your C40 grind setting, you need to multiply it by 1.5. That was a little confusing first, but you can adjust quickly and it gives you the high precision step for users of C60 model. The huge difference is inside the grinder, a completely new burr set and housing. It looks massive, all the parts are made out of steel, which increases the weight but also adds robustness and stability. What took us some time to realize is the unibody construction of C60, which practically means both body and chassis behave as a single piece of metal, with no room for movement. Burr is therefore perfectly concentric. I never felt C40 is missing something, but C60 is another beast. I really like the open of the body that allows you to see almost through the burrs. Barracuda burrs look much bigger inside already, but if you take them out, there is an even bigger difference. Comparing to nitro blade burrs, they are wider and also taller. 
Grinding experience was a big surprise for me, at least on two levels. I thought based on the weight of the C60, it will be much easier to grind, but first half or full rotation was actually quite difficult because of the amount of coffee beans fed between the burrs. But then it got momentum and it felt unstoppable. The second surprise was how quickly it was done. I cut the time comparing to C40 to half or even more, but that's what we will do in our short tests now. Let's do a little test to compare C40 and C60. First, adjusting grind setting through clickers. I already mentioned the shape and material of the clicker are different, but also sound and feel is different. C60 is much more subtle and more quiet. Amount of coffee that fits in the chamber is depending on the coffee beans about 40 grams for C40 and about 55 grams for C60. The sound of grinding is a little different. C60 sounds more industrial, bigger chamber and bursts cut through the beans easier with less resistance and you kind of hear it. To compare speed of grinding, we use two sets of grind sizes, one for filter coffee and one for espresso. Filter coffee, we use 20 grams of coffee, dense naturally processed Ethiopian beans. It was 21 seconds for C60 and 38 seconds for C40. For espresso coffee, we use 18 grams, Omni Rose blend of three coffee origins. And the winner is... The resulting time was 25 seconds for C60 and 43 seconds for C40. Overall, it roughly cuts the time of grinding in half, which is quite impressive. Of course, we brewed and tried to compare brew the C60 and C40. We just felt it was close enough to make a proper judgment or suggestion. One time we felt C60 grinder made for more balanced and sweet brew, it was the other way around next time. It can be a great tool for specific beans and we'll explore more in the future. Okay, so it's funny how the C40 feels so light to operate after grinding with C60 heavy metal for some time. Comanata C40 remains, at least for us, a golden standard in hand grinding that hasn't changed. What C60 brought to the table is incredible engineering to put much bigger burr set into the same form factor as C40 while keeping it usable and fast. Cutting the grinding time basically in half compared to C40 is impressive. It just gets closer to the performance of electric grinders when it comes to the efficiency in use cases like cuppings or competitions. For us in our studio, it won't be enough to consider the upgrade. I think most owners of C40 don't need a second grinder unless they are really excited to try all new. It's still a big investment after all. What I have no doubt about is that both C40 and C60 will last for a very long time and most likely will outlive me. Thanks for watching, bye bye.